Okay, so one of the most common running injuries um, is the knee. It's, it's, a, it's a complicated joint, it's a bad design. Um, the most common run, runner's knee injuries to the MCL, pain here on the ligament that attaches either the quadriceps or the hamstrings from behind. You've got eight different ligaments coming in or across the knee. A very, very complicated uh, joint, but it's important to use the joint whatever sport you're doing, as a hinge joint. As soon as you start to rotate or you're landing like this when you're going downhill, you're gonna put pressure on the MCL and that's gonna cause issues. So all I'm gonna show you is what I do twice a week, religiously, as religiously as I work out my core, I align the knee by strengthening the quadricep muscles. So I'm just gonna show you on the leg extension machine, what I do and then by doing, by doing that, by strengthening the quadriceps, by aligning the knee, just gives me peace of mind that I can go about my training without having to worry too much about the knee. And obviously on top of that, you need to constantly remember when you're running that when you're landing, you're landing midfoot, so you're not kind of jolting the knee by landing on, the, on your heel. You're not kind of putting too much pressure on the Achilles and soleus, and you kind of like putting pressure on the knee by landing too much on your, on your toes. You land in midfoot and your toe, heel, knee and hip are aligned. If they're aligned, the knee doesn't have so much to do, but it's still super important uh, to, to, to do this, to align the knee, to strengthen the quadriceps. So I'll come to a machine like this. Now for me, it's really important on a machine to feel comfortable. It's not about how much weight you're lifting. It's, it's not about trying to lift the most amount of weight and that will make a stronger runner, stronger quadriceps. It's not about that. It's about building, building strong muscles that are robust, that will stop you from getting injured and will help you get faster. So I'll come, on to, I'll come over to this. I like, I like to be right back in the seat and then for the weight, I'll just pop that down to 30, which is 30 kilograms, which is not a great amount of weight. But what it's gonna do for me, and I like to have, it's got to be single leg, because you don't want one leg doing the majority of the work and taking the load, and then you'll have imbalances, which will cause you other problems down the line. You wanna always, always think in the weights room that you wanna be fixing especially prehabilitation or rehabilitation, you wanna be fixing the root of the problem, not just trying to get better so that you can run again, right? So I just literally bring it up, really calm pace, and just do three sets of 10, just like that. Make sure everything's aligned, the toe, ankle, knee, and hip, and make sure the quadriceps are engaging, like a really, common thing to do, you'll see this when people are on the bench press, they'll come and they'll lift as much as they possibly can and they're not actually, the majority of the work is not going on the chest, it's going on, on, on the shoulders, on the biceps, on the forearms, you want to kind of isolate the muscle that you're working on and in this case the quadricep. So just literally ten, three times ten each side, flip across, obviously whilst one leg is working, the other leg is resting, so you can go straight from one to the other. And just do three sets of 10 on each side. Keep everything aligned, and then what's really important to do is if you're gonna build strength here, you wanna make the hamstring twice as strong as the quadricep. Now that's difficult to kind of like, it's difficult to judge, it's difficult to kind of test both sides in, a, in an identical way or, or, or in, a, in a comparative way. So you want to do exercise on there. One of the, one of the exercises I love to start off, if you're just getting started off with, with hamstrings, is just on the floor, just get on, your, get on your elbows and just hold the weight of most of your body. Obviously, you're on your, you're on your elbows. Weight, hold your weight on the hamstring and I'll do 20 each side times two sets. And you'll really feel it here. It's really important to do that. Strengthen the hamstrings, strengthen the quads. And then as we've talked about before, the majority of the strength has got to come in 
the glutes, the glutes and the hamstring together. That, that, that strength there is pushing you forward so that once your style is, is you're hitting the ground midfoot with your foot, your toe, ankle, knee, hip is aligned, you've got strong glutes, strong hamstrings, and fast feet, strong feet, then you're gonna be a much faster runner. And with exercises like this, and the prehabilitation that we do on the lower leg, the calf, the soleus, the gastroc muscle, you're gonna not get injured as much, uh, or not, ideally not get injured at all, so that the progress curve can be much more consistent.